Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be using this Morphe 35H palette to show you how I created this makeup look. I'm going to be sticking to these blues on the left hand side. I posted this makeup look on my Instagram a few weeks ago and somebody actually asked if I was making a video on it. So I thought I'd take the opportunity and show you guys how I achieved this makeup. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because it would really help the growth of this channel and I would appreciate it hugely. And let's get into the video. So as you can see, I've already done my eyebrows. I don't like doing them on camera as you would have been able to see in my last video, but I use Browsings. This is what I've used for years definitely one of my favourite brow products I've ever tried and I always just end up coming back to it. For the next step I'm going to be carving out the bottom of my eyebrows with the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer, again one of my favourites. I find it very blendable so it's perfect for, I kind of use it as a bit of an eye base. It gives you a really flawless kind of blank canvas to start with especially because we're doing quite a funky eyeshadow today. So I like to apply it onto a concealer brush first, just to get a bit more of a defined line underneath my eyebrow. Now that I've blended that concealer out with my finger, I'm just gonna be setting it with, I'm still using Bell's powder. Yeah, I'm just gonna be setting it with this. Okay, now that we're doing the eyes, I just thought I'd zoom the camera in a little bit more because I did notice on the last video that I did that you couldn't see what I was doing so much. I'm using my Morphe 35H palette. Okay, to begin, we're gonna go straight in with this dark shade here. I don't have the names of the shades anymore, which is a bit frustrating, but I'm pretty sure you can see quite clearly in the palette that I'm gonna be using this one. So I'm just going to be placing that shade that I showed you in my crease. As you can see, I'm bringing it all the way in so it goes the whole full way from my crease. And then just taking a big fluffy brush and blending that out. As this is the first colour that's going onto the lid as well, I do want it to be quite blended. I tend to blend my shadows kind of up and out. I don't stress too much about the inner bits just because that's gonna be cut with concealer later anyway. And more shades are gonna be added on top. Now that that's blended, I'm going to be taking this darker blue here. I'm just gonna be deepening up the outer corner and outer part of my crease with this color. Again, I'm going to blend it. I'm not going to be blending this colour as far in, I'm going to keep it more on the outer corner. I'm then taking this beautiful aqua kind of colour and I'm just going to be popping that onto my lid, but avoiding the inner corner because that's where we're going to be putting the gold. And again, just blending that. I'm just gonna be taking a bit of that really dark shade again and just deepening up my crease a tiny bit more. So that's it with the shadow for now. I'm now gonna cut my crease, which is my least favorite bit. Again, I'm just using the infallible concealer and taking it on my concealer brush again. And then this is my favourite bit, so taking the same palette, I'm going to use this gold, it's kind of an olivey gold here, and I'm just going to be packing that all over the concealer. I'm also going to be leaving out a tiny bit of the inner corner so that I can use a bit of a lighter shade on there. Then I'm just taking my big fluffy brush and I'm going to start blending. I'm 
So I basically just keep blending the gold into the blue until I get the kind of gradient that I want. Next, I'm just gonna be taking a little bit of my Becca highlight and popping that on the inner corner. So next, I'm gonna be just taking my infallible foundation and I'm gonna be using that to kind of carve out the top of my eyebrow. Now, because my eyes are quite dramatic, I want to keep my base makeup fairly kind of natural. Next, I'm just going to be applying that foundation all over my face. But I'm just making sure that I blend it out a lot. Next, I'm just taking my concealer and I'm going to be applying that under my eyes. I am going to be using a concealer brush to apply it just because I don't want it to be too thick. because this foundation is fairly high coverage I'm not going to conceal anywhere else. Next I'm just taking this small brush to apply my setting powder underneath my eyes. I find that using a smaller brush avoids it getting cakey. And then just taking a fluffier brush and I'm going to put a little bit of setting powder on the rest of my face. Nothing too much, just focusing it on my T-zone. Pressing it in as well as opposed to swiping it across my face. I'm now going to be taking my NYX matte bronzer and I'm going to be bronzing up the contours of my face. Then I'm just taking this smaller angled bronzer brush and I'm going to be defining my cheekbones a little bit more with the same bronzer. So I actually bought a new highlighter palette from Laura Mercier a couple of days ago. So I thought I would give it a go. So this is the palette. It comes with these four beautiful shades in. I quite like to use golden colours on my cheekbones. So I'll probably stick to this one here most of the time. But so this is the Magic Hour Face Illuminator palette. It's actually got the shade names on the back as well, so I'm going to be using Addiction, which is this gold colour here. Doesn't seem to be picking up that much on the brush at all. So it does give, give a nice shimmer. It's not as pigmented as my Becca highlight, but it's still pretty. So I can't be mad at that. So that's face makeup done now. I'm going to pop some lashes on and then I will come back. So before I apply mascara to my bottom lashes, I'm going to be taking this aqua colour. I'm just going to take it on a bit of a flat brush and put it on my lower lash line. And then I'm just going to smoke it out a little bit. And now I'm just going to be applying my Rocket Volume by Maybelline on my lower lash line and also to blend my natural lashes with the strip lashes. Finally, I'm just going to be using this L'Oreal Lip Liner in the shade 302. just to gently line my lips a tiny bit. And 
Then I just went ahead and put this NYX lingerie gloss over the top and that completes the makeup. So that's the makeup finished. I really hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope you maybe learned a couple things. And one thing I will say is with cut creases, even if the concealer line doesn't look the sharpest to you, trust me, just trust the process and apply that gold shade on anyway because honestly it pulls it all together and you won't even be able to notice if there's any messy little bits in there. But yes, please like and subscribe. If you want to see anything else similar, please just comment down below and I will try and produce a video on it. But thank you so much for watching. Bye.